G'day guys, and welcome to the Center Bounce, where today we will be discussing Matt Flynn as he moves across from the Giants to the West Coast Eagles. This is the watch list. Matt Flynn is a 26 year old ruckman with a height of 202 centimeters. He's played 33 games for his entire career, and his role is that he's a second ruck when he's not stuck in the state leagues. I say that because it took him three full seasons of no game time before he could finally break into the side. He debuted in his third season in the AFL and he played 12 games where he had 52% of the ruck contests. In his fourth season, he also played 12 games where he had 62%. And then in this latest season, he played nine games and in those games, he rucked 67% of the time. He's been stuck behind Shane Mumford, Kieran Briggs, and he shared the load with Braden Pruce. The last one is an absolute travesty because Matt Flynn is certainly a better ruckman than Big Prucey. However, Kieran Briggs has come out of the clouds this year and has been a complete revelation. You can understand him being stuck behind Shane Mumford. This man is essentially a cult figure over there at the Giants, and you cannot be a Ruckman at the Giants without learning just a little bit of his characteristics. Look at this tackle. Does it look familiar? Another similar trait that these Ruckmen have with Big Shane Mumford is the fact that he is a big man who can get down and dirty. He's above average in a number of different statistics, them including with the ground ball gets, where it gets four a game, the center clearances, where it gets two a game, his hit outs to advantage, which is 34% of the time, which would equate to about 10 per game. He averages three tackles a game, and he averages 14 pressure acts per game. He's not just a big boy who runs around and causes people to be absolutely terrified of him. He actually does play the game as it's meant to be played, where he's laying tackles, getting down. Yes. That probably should have been a free kick for high contact, but the umpire didn't pay it, and you can only play to the whistle. He's moving across to the West Coast Eagles, who really don't need any introduction into how poor they were this year. They finished dead last, 18th on the ladder, with only 3 wins, 20 losses, and a percentage of, wow, 53%. No surprise... According to the metrics, they were the worst side in the competition. Their offensive rating and defensive rating were also bottom of the ladder. And their age, though, is the one thing where they are not last in, and that is they are 12th, with an average age of about 25.2 years per player. Matt Flynn, he's 26 years old, so he fits in at the nice spot here with the rest of the team demographic. How is he going to fit in this side? Well, he's going to partner up with Bailey Williams, who's had actually a career best year this year, having had sole responsibility in the ruck. Unfortunately, they could not get any more out of Big Nick Natanui, one of the most impactful ruckmen the game has ever seen. He's retired, and a lot of that responsibility was on Bailey Williams' shoulders, and he certainly rose to the occasion. However, with him being stuck so much playing in the ruck, there really wasn't another tall option that could present in the forward 50 to help with the goal kickers. And you can see that they only had 5.9 goal scorers every single week. Again, a statistic that puts them dead last. And it makes sense for them to go and get another ruckman in Matt Flynn because the two ruck setup is not dead and many teams actually continue to implement this game style. Of course, it's not for everyone, and West Coast can say for themselves that it is not for them. They struggle in the midfield. They've had a tough season, where they've been killed in ground ball gets, they've been killed in centre clearances, they, <laughs> remarkably, are not dead last for out to advantage, but they are also dead last for the goals that they've kicked the game, and the number of one percenters. This is a ruckman. You want him to have one percenters 
all the time. And the good thing is that Matt Flynn fits because he's actually elite when it comes to the one percenters and when it comes to spoils. So what sort of a prediction have we got for big Matt Flynn? He was the planned successor to Shane Mumford before Briggs exploded onto the scene. So there's no surprise and there's no doubt that he will make an immediate impact as soon as he gets to his new club. If the mids can stay healthy and if the Eagles maintain and hold on to number one spot, which they will certainly use to get on to get Harvey Reid, the Eagles will get more speed on the ball and it will give forwards like Oscar Allen every chance at scoring. Oscar Allen is a freak and it is an absolute shame that he cannot be used to his full potential. I know there are many clubs that would love to get him in the side and having a guy like Matt Flynn to be able to tap the ball out allow them to get some center clearances going their way and get the ball moving forward quicker will certainly be of massive help. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is our other episode here on the watch list talking about Matt Flynn. Please, if you like the video, drop us a like, and if you're new, a subscribe. And guys, remember here at the Center Bounce, we do the hard work so that you don't have to. See you all in the next one.